Hey everybody, Scott Spritzer here, DocSports.com. Welcome to the update for Thursday, August 15th, 2019. Got a free pick coming up in just a moment. If you've yet to become a member over at DocSports.com, it's a real cool way to give it a trial run. You click on the link below this video, get set up for a free $60 account. And you can use those free 60 bucks on any of my daily packages or anyone else for that matter over at DocSports.com. As you can see, it's a real cool way to give DocSports.com a trial run. Get that $60 free account. Again, all you got to do to get started click on the link below this video another sweep for us last night hope you're with us over at docsports.com 4-0 the last two nights we're now 19 and 5 with our last 24 plays and we're up closing in on $6,400 for $100 per unit betters with these last 24 plays we'll look to get another winner on Thursday I've got Major League Baseball we hit the big seven star last night uh, that was with the Angels they fell behind 2-0 after the top of the first and then it was all Angels after that they go on to get the 7-4 victory for us, big seven-star winner. By the way, those plays, when you hear me talking about those, 4-0 with our last four going back to last month, 18-8 with the last 26. We're now 8-2 with our last 10 baseball plays. And on Thursday, I do have a five-unit play. You'll be able to get that anytime after 11.30 a.m. Eastern, 8.30 a.m. Pacific on Thursday, DocSports.com, obviously exclusively. And also, I'll have my NFL preseason week two plays posted at 6 p.m. Eastern, 3 p.m. Pacific. Pacific on Thursday, along with my CFL, also posted at that very same time. Football posted Thursdays, 6 p.m. Eastern, every single week throughout the course of the season. We swept last week, preseason week one, a perfect 2-0. You know how well we did last year. If you've been watching us at DocSports.com, our first football season at DocSports, well, we went number one college football and NFL combined. We made almost $10,000 in those two sports, college and NFL football, for $100 per unit better so listen it's all available on thursday again five unit baseball 11 30 a.m eastern 8 30 a.m pacific we look to extend our baseball run to nine and two we look to stay undefeated in nfl preseason we'll have our preseason week two plays posted on thursday 6 p.m eastern 3 p.m pacific gonna have at least two nfl preseason plays at least two uh when we push when we post the uh, plays on thursday afternoon cfl at least one play and again 63 percent cfl on the season how about one 10 and 76 going back about a decade but an outstanding run all right that's everything going on for us as far as radio listen um thursday night we're going to get things started 11 p.m pacific time you know vsin went 24 7 24 hours seven days a week and um, a good friend of mine matt humans and jvt his on-air partner are going to have me on at about 11:05 p.m pacific on uh thursday night they're on from 10 p.m to 1 a.m pacific time and uh, we'll be on with them about 11:05 p.m pacific on Thursday night, we'll be talking about the remaining preseason games for the upcoming weekend. We'll talk about a little CFL, of course, Major League Baseball, whenever I talk to those guys. So plenty to talk about. And I want to say for any of you who are watching in the Midwest, hey, welcome aboard Iowa. The state of Iowa goes legal as far as sports betting is concerned. And uh, listen, I'm cutting this video around oh, 04 a.m. Eastern, 1 a.m. Pacific time, early Thursday morning, as we always do. And in just a few hours from the time I cut this video at 5 a.m. Pacific time, 7 a.m. Central time. If you're in Iowa, I will be on with Travis Justice and the gang uh, as they have the number one show in the state of Iowa from what I've heard. And uh, we're going to be on with them. Travis is an old friend. We go back about 20 years doing a lot of sports betting radio before it was the sexy thing to do even. And uh, when it was swept under the rug by most, we used to do a lot of shows with Travis. So we'll be on their show talking about the legalization of sports betting in the state of Iowa. Looking forward to that. That is awfully early. For me, it's awfully late. I usually zonk out by about 4 a.m., 4.30 Pacific time. Going to have to stay up an extra hour and uh, take care of that. But uh, So a busy day Thursday, and don't forget it will culminate at 11.05 p.m. Pacific time Thursday night on VSIN if you're interested in tuning in to that show. All right, uh, before I get to the free pick for Thursday, uh, we do have NFL preseason kicking off on Thursday. And I wanted to mention a couple of notes that I took last week from uh, some of the teams that are going to be playing on Thursday's slate. First of all, when you look at like the Baltimore Ravens taking on the Green Bay Packers, everybody talking about Baltimore being 14-0, the last 14 preseason games, 12-2 against the spread. Uh, they won big again last week, 29-0 uh, pitching the shutout. And so everybody's talking about them right now. They're laying four. If you look... At 
Now, what Baltimore's done during this great run, most of those wins and most of those spread covers, by the way, have been as shorter favorites and as underdogs. Five and two against the spread is chalk, in fact, over these 14 games. Uh, four, a little pricey for me. I'm not going to have a play on Baltimore. Plus, Green Bay, well, they're going to go with Aaron Rodgers. It looks like they're talking uh, for at least a full quarter, maybe a little bit more. So, for me, that's going to be a game that I pass on Thursday. That won't be our play on Thursday. Uh, check out Arizona on Thursday. I didn't like the way uh, you saw the new coaching staff calling the plays for Kyle Murray. Murray, a great young quarterback, obviously, uh, drafted uh, out of Oklahoma, and I think he's going to have a fantastic career if a guy like Cliff Kingsbury doesn't get this guy hurt. Running an RPO last week was ridiculous. NFL defenses aren't going to fall for that. He's only going to get him hurt. Got to pay attention to them in their home game against the Oakland Raiders and see what they call for Kyle Murray, Murray on uh, Thursday. Also, the Jets, they're, of course, at Atlanta. Listen, everybody's talking about the fact that the Atlanta Falcons don't win preseason football games. Yeah, you're right. Uh, they're 0-2 this year. They're 0-2 against the spread. But listen, it had nothing to do with they don't win games. They had pure bad luck uh, in their first two games. I, I wasn't on either one of Atlanta's first two preseason games. I'll tell you what right now, week one against Denver, you saw what happened with the tip pass ends up being a touchdown for the Broncos. Broncos go on to the late 14 to 10 win and cover. Last week, you got the Falcons going forward inside their own 20. You saw what happened in the closing oh, minute or so. Miami gets that late touchdown and they go on to get the win. And if you had Atlanta, which I know a few people who did, man, that was a tough beat for them last Thursday night. I stayed away from from Atlanta in those first two games. As far as the Jets are concerned, Sam Darnold, I don't know if you happen to see that opening drive with Darnold at quarterback with the first team offense. Boy, they were clicking along like a well-oiled machine. I know it was only one drive. I know it was only week one preseason, but Sam Darnold looked on spot, on the money, decision-making, passing, all of the above. So I thought that was a very impressive performance. In fact, if you take out the luck factor on all the games last week, I thought the players or the teams or the offenses, I should say, that looked best. Kansas City, even when uh, Mahomes was out there bringing Chase Linton, they looked like they didn't miss a beat. That team knows what they want to do this year. Uh, also, the Cleveland Browns. You saw Baker Mayfield while he was in the game. Again, another well-oiled attack. Nothing lucky about that. And then Sam Darnold with the New York Jets. So let's keep an eye on them obviously in week two and then as we head into week three's dress rehearsal uh, but again we will have NFL preseason at least two plays at least one on Thursday and they'll all be posted Thursday 6 p.m. Eastern 3 p.m. Pacific 2-0 last week in the NFL uh, number one college football NFL combined at DocSports.com last year let's keep it going in week two all right that's going to do it for that let's get to the free pick for Thursday's card turning to the diamond uh, we're looking at the clash between the Mets and the Braves and we're suggesting to play under nine and a half you got Stroman taking on Julio Tehran here. And here's the thing, man. A lot of people are going to jump ship now with Marcus Stroman because his first two starts back home in New York after uh, uh, being uh, acquired from Toronto did not go as well as a lot of people thought they would. If you just look at the, the actual, you know, game finals, the final scores without diving into a little bit, you're going to probably think, you know, you don't want any part of Stroman. Well, we're not going to bet on Stroman and on the Mets in this game, but we like him to do his job to help keep this total under nine and a half. Here's the thing. He had a real nice strikeout to walk ratio in game two, if you saw uh, that contest. And he really only had one tough inning, one weak inning out of six innings pitched. And uh, this is the thing is I think he's by low right now as far as how well he can actually pitch in this particular game. And on the other side, it's going to be Julio Tehran. And you know he's pitching lights out over his last seven starts or whatever. I mean, you're talking about a buck 90 ERA, 106 whip over his last 40 plus us innings pitch, so I think you're going to get a nice start out of Tehran. Atlanta, as it goes, they're on an 8-2-1 and one under run uh, of late at home, and I think you're going to be in for more of the same. I mean, I look at Stroman, I think he's by low. I look at Tehran, he's been red hot for seven starts, as I just mentioned, and then again, you already have a team that kind of tends to play to the under over the last oh, month or whatever it's been, 8-2-1 and one to the under on their home turf. So I'm going to play under, that's going to be our free pick, under 9.5, the Mets and the Braves, Stroman and Tehran, your 
scheduled starters. All right, again, don't forget baseball. We look to go to 9 and 2 on Thursday. That play will be available anytime after 11.30 a.m. Eastern, 8.30 a.m. Pacific over at DocSports.com. That's a five-unit play, by the way, in baseball. Uh, CFL this week and NFL week two of the preseason, all available 6 p.m. Eastern, 3 p.m. Pacific, also on Thursday. All right, listen, I uh, hope you like these videos. Let's keep this red-hot streak going. 19-5 uh, and five with our premium picks at Docs. We won here last night with the Nationals. If you like these videos, click on that thumbs up button. Be sure to subscribe. We do appreciate those who have done so thus far. I'm Scott Spritzer, DocSports.com. Let's put Thursday in the win column right back here Friday after 5 a.m. Eastern, 2 a.m. Pacific. We'll talk to you then.